That's not really funny, but, uh, oh god, what is this about? You know that feeling when paths don't line up with where you want to go? That feeling. In all fairness, when these song lines were first sung, I don't think these walls were here. Or these metal gears. No worries, I come prepared, because prophecies. Why am I the only one that doesn't know what a prophecy I is? I do love their style. Or what the prophecy is. I know what a prophecy is, but I don't know what their prophecy is. God, where am I? Oh, don't tell me. I'm... I must be the engine room. No, I can't be. Oh, oh, wait. I don't know, I'm confused right now. Uh... It looks like the... Yeah, definitely the engine room. But why? How does Saga end up, like... I don't know, we'll find out, right? There's a gap, and I can feel a draft. This is it, the way out. Okay. So now I gotta... Oh! Not you know. what I'm looking for. Oh, I know. This is it. I just need to switch it off. Luckily, I came prepared. <laughs> Luckily, I came with a spatula. Oh, okay. Second one from Perfect Fit. <laughs> the spatula really is the queen of kitchen utensils. Hey. Right. Well, they never thought about the spatula coming into play. What was it? Clax? I yeah. feel like I'm playing life on cheat mode. <laughs> Lax didn't see that one coming, did he? When he built this thing. That guy. Alright, let me go ahead and, and squeeze on through here. I don't mean to be uh, quite the intelligent guy, but I think the elixir is for the guy who got stabbed. Keon. I'm just throwing that one out there just in case. Alright. Whoa, what is that? That's nifty. What an invention they have made. Alright, Saga, come on. Oh, God. How far up are we, though? That's probably what we need the rope for, I would imagine, right? Yeah, definitely. No, Saga, you can jump. You don't need the rope. That's him, down there. I hope I'm not too late. Uh, no, we should be good. I'm on schedule. How does she know? Okay, is she gonna jump? Oh, she did jump. Oh my god. She ain't scared. Hang in there, Alvani. Okay, I am so... I am so confused on how she knows who that is. How she knew about the prophecies. That I did not know about. I don't know. I'm just rambling on right now. I'm sure the questions will be answered sooner or later. Alright. Come on, Saga, we ain't got all day, man. Or woman. <laughs> all right. This looks pretty sturdy. Sturdy enough for a rope? And me? Right. No, it's not. Oh god. How did she get a rope that was gonna the right height of the rope? I don't know, I'm asking too many questions for a video game. She can do it actually. Oh my god. Perfect. Alright, now we just have to give this poor guy the elixir. Shit, there's a lot of blood. I really hope I'm not too late. Uh, you look like you're right on time. Uh, here we go. Alright, drink this. Drink. And is he all better now? Maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. And Dreamfall Chapters. Because it'll leave you with no unanswered questions. All your questions will be asked in this episode. Well, maybe not this episode, but... Oh, God. We're back with the Crow. Ghost Crow. I'm not sure what I am. Not really... Oh, what's going on over there? Uh... Okay. I know who that is. It's Mr. West House. Shut up. No. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Fine. Will you not stay silent for one bloody minute? I can't. I can't think. I can't sleep. I can't dream. 
I can't have you inside me. You're eating me up. Why are you not doing what I've asked you to do? You're supposed to give me power. You're supposed to serve me, not, not the other way around. Stop whispering! Magic must be destroyed for the worlds to become one. For Stark and Arcadia to reconnect. For me to return home. You must help me accomplish this. You must listen to me. You see, if magic leaks into Stark, It'll cause chaos and mayhem. Millions will die. I... I don't have a choice. Huh. This guy is going, uh... No, don't put the mask on. No! That's what they want. Alright, fine. Do what you need to do. Oh my god. We don't have a choice. It must be done. Okay. He so said, Ryan is the prophet. That's a twist I didn't see coming. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Of course I saw that coming. Ryan's possessed by the undreaming. He brings it to Arcadia and then it starts talking to him, controlling him. Sounded to me like he wanted to control it. But why? Uh, to destroy magic? There must be more to it than that. I'm just repeating what he said. Come on, there's much more. All right, I'm ready for the next scene. What is this like we're going back through the past of what Brian Westhouse was doing? Is that what's going on? Oh, maybe. I've been here before. Oh. The Dark People's Library. Something happened here that, okay. Here we go. Who's there? Hello? Funny bird, is that you? Oh, I didn't see you. Are you looking for something? Wait, no. What are you? That's how she died. Ah. How do I know? He killed the white dragon. Yeah, and I was there. I saw Mr. Westhouse, and he saw me. He tried to kill me too, but I was struck with something from that pointy magic stick of his, and I, I blacked out. Next thing I know, I was stowed away on a ship to Sadir. I must have crawled into a barrel or something. I didn't remember any of it until, until the prophet grabbed me. I heard him. There was blood, and... I don't know what happened next, but his blood... That's what's helping me pull you into these memories. The Prophet's blood! Is that weird? No weirder than anything else I've experienced this past week. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Alright, so we're moving on. Wow, that's interesting. Now that I know what happened to the... The White Dragon, right? The White Dragon? Ah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. God, I can't speak today. What's going on here? Do you question the goddess, Utana? Of... of course not. I... just want... I... need to understand why all non-humans must be destroyed. Magic is an aberration. It has no place in this cosmos. It's chaos. And chaos interferes with logic, with the engine, with her plans. This I understand. Reunification cannot happen as long as Arcadia is ruled by magic. But the non-humans... If we are to fulfill the wishes of the goddess, we must purify the world. Only then can the mechanical engine serve her. Do you understand now? What? I... Uh, yes. Master. My office will establish camps and ship non-humans to the islands. And I'll find someone to spearhead the program to... Uh, eradicate magicals. Good. I'll be leaving for the Northlands soon. 
to oversee the final construction of the tower and the engine. I trust Azadir is in good hands. Oh, the Masked Council answers to me only. The Six will continue to heed our advice. Sadir belongs to us, Master Prophet. And this new emissary? Sister Saya will join you. She's young, but clever and loyal. She'll serve you well in Mercuria. I trust your judgment. Send word when the camps are ready, Utana. Oh my god, it's like the Emperor. Did you understand that? No, but that was Mother Utana. She took me in after I arrived in Sadir. I did some work for her. She helped me get back to Mercuria. Kian and her appeared to be very close until... until she stabbed him with a knife to the belly. She what? That... that just happened. Out there, before the Prophet wrung my neck and... Oh, Mother of Ravens, I remember now. I remember what happened. I... I think I died. Am I dead? You're here. That's all I know. So Mother... Mother Utana serves the Prophet, and the Prophet orchestrates the destruction of Magicals. Which means Westhouse is responsible for... for actual genocide. God. That's what I'm saying. I feel weird, Zoe. I don't like this feeling. I'm... I'm scared. I'm sorry, Crow. Alright, so what's gonna happen next? I'm excited to find out. I can't believe Crow died. I'm still kinda sad about that, but uh... What is this? What? How did he get that? Wait, he didn't fill that when I was... No, he couldn't have. Or he might have, I don't know. That... place... It was... It was filled with... Numbers and... Calculations. An eternity of equations. I couldn't find my way out. It was terrifying. So much power. I owe you my life, sir. And now you will serve me. How? Oh, you'll help me build something. A mechanical engine. Like that calculator I was trapped inside? Something like it, but much greater. On a scale never before seen. In return, I'll grant you power. Power? What kind of power? <laughs> and Sakin. That was a long time ago. Another age. One in which magic meant something. I accept your proposition. So what's next? <laughs> oh god. No. You're mine now. Or what did out. you do? What did you put inside me? Something to keep safe. Something that must remain hidden. It whispers to me. Don't listen to it. The Undreaming has ambitions. Best we don't let those ambitions loose on the world. Not yet. Tell no one of this. There are those who are willing to commit murder to get to what's inside you. My... My lips are sealed, Master. I swear. Only the Scepter can shatter the shard of the Soul Stone you carry within. The Soul Stone? My soul stone? It was never yours, wizard. But yes, a piece of it. This scepter and the soul stone were forged from the same dream at the beginning of everything. Is that... Is that the silver spear of Gorimon? No. Where did you find it? It harbors great and ancient magics. Could I... No. Busy. And not magic. This is an object older than magic. It can both control and destroy magic. It's capable of slicing through the fabric between worlds. It's so beautiful. 
I spent decades looking for it. I found it with one of the Dryad kin. It looks... alive? <laughs> it's been fed the blood of dragons, charged with the oldest magic of them all. It's finally ready. And once my engine has been built, the Scepter's true powers will be revealed. You'll stay close to me, in Mercuria. I'll call on you when I need you. With the help of the Azadi Nation, you'll build my engine. They're eager for the power they believe it'll grant them. They'll serve me, their prophet. In exchange, you'll have everything you could ever want. You'll be there, next to me. Reshaping worlds. I look forward to it, Master. Now oh, he's lying. Don't listen to Clax. I knew that wizard couldn't be trusted. I could have told you that. <laughs> Wait, I did. Oh. He was there. Clax. When the Prophet broke my neck, he's working for the Prophet. So Clax has a shard of the Soul Stone inside him. That must be the same Soul Stone I brought to Lux. Why does the Prophet need to keep it safe? Something to do with the Undreaming? The Undreaming? It's inside that shard. It's not inside West House because... Because then it'd be controlling him and he's the one controlling it. Yeah. You were right, Crow. I was? I was! I think... I think this is what I was supposed to show you. Okay, so what's next? We keep walking, I guess. I mean, <laughs> maybe there's more to see. Maybe. Oh, who's up there? Yeah, let's go see, shall we? I know they're joys, right? Who's that? April? No way. You. I should have guessed you'd be here. Or, it's not actually you. This place is strange. You're probably just an... An echo. A ghost. What was that whole thing about find her, save her? I found you, but I didn't save you. I didn't save anyone. You did. How? I was trapped. You freed me. You died. And was reborn. Reborn? How? You're not telling. Or oh, this echo is incomplete. Right. I know this can't be you, not really, because you're dead, and this is just... <sighs> so, what do I do now? I'm supposed to save the dream, but I don't know how. What have you learned? I don't know. Westhouse brought the Undreaming to Arcadia. First, it was inside him, but then he put it into the Soul Stone Shard. He became the prophet and he manipulated the Azadi people, freed Clax and... Clax! The shards inside Clax! Which means the undreaming is inside Clax. And that spear can shatter it. <laughs> the one that killed the white dragon? The silver spear of... of... Gorimon? That's what you were supposed to show me, Crow. The key to destroying the shard and unleashing the undreaming. Face palm moment. The undreaming isn't the real danger here. I mean, yes, it is dangerous, but only because Westhouse is using it, controlling it. We need to unleash the undreaming. That sounds a teensy weensy bit risky. <laughs> I know, but this is what has to happen. I don't know why I know. Maybe because Lux knows, and Lux is part of me now. We find the spear, and murder Clax, and unleash the Undreaming, all by ourselves? We can't. We need help. We need... Kion. Kion! If I can get word to Kion, then... There's still hope. But I need to get out of here. Uh... How do I get out of here? Good luck, Zoe. Oh god. What's going on? No! I'm fading. Out of reality. Oh, I'm not even in reality, am I? Hey, funny bird. April? Are you ready to go now? I... yeah. Yeah, I am. Wow, that's I've really sad. You, April. I've missed you too. Come on, Crow. We have a long journey ahead of us. Oh god, I'm kind of sad. 
Those two started it off. And now they walk away. Like an old western film. <laughs> Alright, anyways. What's gonna happen now? <laughs>